Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I wanted to talk to you guys about the books that really surprised me this year. So my most surprising reads of 2020. So there was quite a few books, meh, not like quite a few, like five, <laughs> that were like a pleasant surprise and that I enjoyed a lot more than I thought I would and that maybe made it to my favorites. A few of these were on my favorites so yeah. First up here we have Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell. I was not really expecting much from this and I didn't want to buy it physically because I didn't want to spend like $20 or $25 on it. So I got like a an ebook copy when it was on sale I believe and I really really enjoyed this. This is like such a fun fall read. I was like dying over the romance. It was so cute and I love how they had all these little activities that they did and they were all super festive. Overall it was like it was such a cute graphic novel and if you're interested in it I would suggest picking it up because it's actually so cute and like the illustrations are really nice and they have like a huge map of where they're at and it just has all like the little sections of where they go and like it's all it's all fall related and so cute so I really enjoyed pumpkin heads this year. <laughs> Next I have Metamorphosis by Ovid which was featured in some of my other like end of the year videos but this one I really really liked. It has a lot of triggering content so I'm gonna say that now but it's basically poetry but it's all about different myths and gods and goddesses and creatures so all ranging from you know Roman it's mostly Roman and some some forms of some bits of Greek mythology as well but it is so good and you like we studied it in my mythology course in university and I just was so enthralled with it I like underlined every single page I it was so interesting and you hear like you get to see each individual myth and like all the stories that you hear about you get to like really see the reality of it and they're usually very like it's very dark and brutal so I will mention that right now but it was such a fantastic read so if you are interested in mythology like at all I would highly recommend picking this up. It's very very old um, but it was really 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 good so I would recommend that one. Next up here I have Sailor Moon. So I did not really know much going into this. I was just like, yep, a lot of people talk about Sailor Moon. It's very cute. It's um, like it's super cute. Come on. Like it's a super cute manga. But I ended up being so enthralled with it, even with just the cat, to be honest, with Luna. And I ended up tabbing things like I just thought it was such I just thought it was such a nice book and I just enjoyed it much more than I thought I was going to. And that's why I'm actually interested in continuing with it because it was so cute and I love how each sailor kind of has their own their own thing. <laughs> you know we got Sailor Moon and there's some other ones and there's some villains and there's the cat and I don't know I just really really enjoyed it. It was so so cute. Yeah like there's Sailor Mars and stuff like that so I just really really enjoyed this one. I definitely want to continue with it. It's like it's definitely like a little bit more it's more not juvenile but it's I usually read more adult manga and I don't this one's not really adult manga I don't think it's uh, more like I think it's more for teens as well but it's it's really nice and wholesome at times so I, I'm excited to keep reading the manga when I acquire more of them and then even watching like the anime so if you guys have read this or the whole series or you watch the anime let me know what you think about it because I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. Next here I have Fangs by Sarah Anderson and this I mentioned in my favorites because this was so good and it's a love story between a vampire and a werewolf. It is written by the same author who has done like Sarah Scribbles and like adulthood is, adulthood is a myth and like those books which are also super funny and like have like a cute quirky writing style which is exactly what this book had and it had so many just little like I chuckled throughout it. It was super cute and yeah, if you like vampires or werewolves and you just want like a cute wholesome love story, definitely read this graphic novel. It's super cute. Lastly here, I have Meta by Europe Pides. I probably said that wrong. I, mm, this story was one of the most interesting to me anyways. It was such an interesting myth that I learned about and just with Meta and Jason and the kids and there's a revenge story and it's so complicated like I don't want to spoil anything for you but I read this from my Greek mythology class or not my my classical mythology class and I really just was so shocked by one how brutal it was and then two it was just very interesting to me I 
thought that it was like wow like this story just stuck out so if you're interested in mythology i'd recommend this like i don't want to say too much about it i don't want to spoil you about what happens in case you don't know but i yeah i would recommend reading this or at least watch a video on it um i might link down below some videos about who meta was uh i think this character is super fascinating and yeah. Oh, there you guys have it. Those are my most surprising reads of 2020. Let me know your most surprising or just a book that you really didn't think you would like as much as you did down below. I would love to know. And yeah, thank you so much for supporting me and commenting and liking and everything like that. I really, really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys soon with a new video.